Hey there everybody, Bo here with Top Deck Cards and Games. Pete's losing his poop in the background because this is the second take we have to do this because I'm illiterate. Modern Masters 2015 edition. We are opening up a box here. I can't help myself. Yeah, when you, when you just absolutely can't say 2015, you know you have a problem. This set is absolute fire, so we're gonna see uh, what we have inside. So we have our insert, we have the extra cardboard in here that doesn't matter. The other cardboard that we actually want is in here. So we have 24 packs that are in uh, some nice new cardboard, which is unlike anything we've had before, pretty much. And yeah, this set, absolute fire. So let's hope to see uh, the good things. So. All we care about here are the the rares and the foils. So foil death mark, scoop mob, and we'll otherwise win out any like really insane uncommons. I mean, these packs are too hot. Hot damn. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. I don't think that's the case, but uh, Surakar Spellblade, Aqua Strand Spider, Oh, it's like, where does the foil go and where does the rare go? Both of them are kind of awful. Don't worry. There's a lot of really good stuff in this set that actually makes it well worth the 240 that you're likely uh, throwing on this box. Like this Noble Hierarch and this Foil Telling Time. Oh, that is just insane. All right. Uh, Spectral Procession is really sweet as well as an uncommon. And we also have cool reprints like Smash the Smithereens, Apostle's Blessing. There's there's just so much cool stuff in this set that like you can't not spend two hundred and forty dollars on a box. I mean, you obviously can not spend two hundred forty dollars on a box. But I've, I, I'm going through two boxes today, so I mean, you can already tell how much I don't like money, and I love this game. Uh, Midnight Banshee and Foil Death Denied. Uh, Cranial Plating's in here. Eldrazi Temple as well. Both of those cards are insane. A lot of really cool popper stuff as well, if that's your yeah. thing. If that is your thing. Mana Leak got reprinted in here. It's the only that's the only reprint Mana Leak's ever going to see. Wizards already knows what, what mistake they made. Flash Freeze is cool. Uh, Surgical Extraction, and we have Shrivel. I don't know if Extraction needed a reprint, but that card's cool. It sure is. I think Extirpate would have been a... Well, I guess they can't reprint Extirpate without doing an entire split-second cycle, but Extirpate would have been cooler. Uh, Reassembling Skeleton, Culling Diask, Hobgoblin... Oh, Comet Storm. All right, so that's one of our Mythics. And Foil Selesnya Guild Mage, which is cooler than the Comet Storm. So you pull about three Mythics per box, uh, about one Foil Rare per box as well. Man, Comet Storm, that's uh... uh... Yeah, it's kind of as awful as it gets. It's actually the worst mythic you can get in this set. But that's okay. Our phone lines are going off the off the wire here. Everybody wants that Modern Masters. Uh, Inexorable Tide and Rapid Flames both are very sad. Now, somebody really wants those boxes. That's alright, that's just we, what we get for uh, filming things in a shop. Uh, regular telling time. That's cool. Uh, etched monstrosity, sadness, wayfarer's bauble. Oh, dropping packs. This one better have something good in it. Because it doesn't want to go in my hands. Ha! Oh. Alright, Banefire. And Foil Tribal Flames. Uh, that's actually really cool. Banefire is an alright card. It's nifty. It's nifty. Nifty 50. All right, another stack of eight. Hopefully we can get uh, things. Foil Repeal, I have Ugin. It's not a Mythic this time around, so that's better. Mm -hmm. Foil Repeal is actually insanely sweet. Stormbrella Berserker and a Death Mark. Berserker is pretty cool. Doesn't really see modern play, but insane cube card, insane casual card. Uh, was really sweet and standard. And uh, Foil Frogmite with some kind of small minor imperfection on the left hand side of it. Calling it. And Spellskite. Spellskite. Spellskite's cool. Spellskite's 20 bucks. That Frogmite, though. That Frogmite is really sweet. I, I can almost assume that this Frogmite's actually probably way too much money that you don't want to pay. And by that, I mean probably like two bucks. You're not wrong. 
Still claiming it. All right, Pete doesn't want to spend over a dollar on popper cards that are cool and foil. He is actually just the popper master. Oh, there it is, the Shadow Mage Inf Infiltrator. This isn't money, but the reprint is so insanely sweet on this card. That's just amazing. And uh, Foil Mirror Smith. That's less uh, less of something to brag about. That's Ritz Gambit. We also have the cycle of the Karoo lands from uh, Ravnica as well. Original Ravnica. So for you guys that are trying to play uh, Amulet in Modern, it's something. Uh, Endrick Sar, Master Breeder. Master Breeder of Sadness. Uh, Foil Blood Throne Vampire. Uh, Kong Dias, Wrecking Ball, Artisan of Kozilek. Alright, this box can't possibly make me sad. Foil Thrive, Precursor Golem. I stand corrected. I mean, the Noble Hierarch thus far. Noble Hierarch and the Spell Sky thus far have been just really, really, really sick pulls. Uh, the Hierarch's edging 50, and the Spell Sky's right around that comfortable 20 bucks. Foil Arrest and Splinter Twin. All right, there we go. Another $20 card. Yeah, they really didn't uh, didn't mess around with some of the cards they put in here. Uh, like Electrolyze is an uncommon again. We have our packs hiding off camera here. They're just drifting, just slowly drifting away. They're, they're shy. They're shy. Hopefully we can pull a click. Uh, long Forgotten, Gohei, Gohi, and Spike Shot Elder. Don't worry, I'll butcher all these card names. Mortar Pod's cool. I don't think it's noteworthy enough to uh, pull out. It doesn't really make that huge big of an impact in modern. There's a cool card in standard, if you guys remember that card. Foilstone Brawl Berserker. All right. And what is this? Woodleaf Liege. All right. Necrogenesis. Dev Devouring Greed. Cool, cool. All right, that's two columns down. So we have eight packs left and two mythics to go. So yeah, three, two, one, go. Uh, foil mortar pod, primeval titan. All right, that, that's another mythic. Not really one of the best mythics we can pull, but it's definitely still like fifteen to twenty bucks. Uh, cranial plating as well, which is just going on the foil stack for now. Uh. Ruined Servitor and Mirror Entity. Uh, Pleca Worm, Lore Scale, and Mutagenic Growth. I think that's like the first Mutagenic Growth I've seen thus far. Also, they made an uncommon instead of a common. Yeah, well, rightfully so. They did, they did the same thing with Lightning Bolt. Mm -hmm. uh, Nest Invader and Fulminator Mage. Ah, that's Ooh. what I needed. All right, so Pete, how you claimed one card already? This is what I'm claiming. There you go. Fulminator Mage is what I need. Uh, Lightning Bolt. There we go. Just was just talking about it. Oh, Hold on. The the uncommon the uncommon slot for this is insane. Lightning Bolt, Remand, and Celestial Purge. Really. Money Rude. and Foil Nest Invader. Rude. The Fulminator Mage is mine. That uh, is rude. For somebody that plays as much modern and uh, legacy as I do, I have I have possessed zero Fulminator Mages in my entire life. It's it's actually a problem. It is a problem. Anytime I play decks that usually play that card, I just opt for playing other things because I go, huh, nobody's going to play Tron. And usually nobody does, but the one time that they do, it just makes me really, really sad. It's like, I always want to be that guy who plays Tron. <sighs> you just live to hurt, don't you? Uh, nice. Eldrazi Temple. Mm -hmm. Ah, Mox Opal. There it is. Ooh. Regular one. I pulled a foil one. Pulled a foil one for myself. A uh, regular one. Yeah, regular one's still 40 bucks. Eldrazi Temple, yeah, everything's just getting so clustered here. Like, w with how many packs we've gone through here, like, these pulls are just insane. See, like, you, you just think for a second, like, oh man, this is gonna make me really sad for the 240 that I actually spent on it, and you actually just get redeemed. There's so much redemption in these boxes. Hobgoblin, Profane Command, not cryptic, but it's cool. Uh, foil Otherworldly Journey. Two more packs. What, what could we possibly pull out of these packs that would just be uh, eternal happiness? Tamagirf. Timmy Girf. Mystic Snake, that's not a Timmy Girf. Actually, I don't think we can even pull a Tarmogoyf out of here if we I wanted to. So. No, uh, the, the three Mythics is, is pretty, uh, pretty set in stone. Uh, Combust, which is cool. Anything cool out of the commons? No, not really. That's all right. 
one more pack here. Last pack. Come on, foil fulminator mage. Make me ha make me re really happy. Sad. Well, not really sad. It's sad because I'm gonna end up buying it. Happy because I'm gonna end up buying it. Ah, uh, Mirren Crusader. Oh, foil thought cast. There we go. There's oh. the. Red <laughs> oh, I need. No, Pete. This is more than two dollars. Pete. Need more than two dollars, friend. Oh. oh, just insane. Absolutely insane. So much, so much swag, as the kids nowadays are saying. I think, I think, are they still saying swag? I, I'm out of it. How about this? We're not saying that word. I'm not a teenager anymore, I, so I don't know. C I'm can like we, can I use a lifeline? I'm like 30. I can't help you here. Hmm. I suppose that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Yeah, so this box was... Uh, Quote, unquote, absolute fire. So, Mox Opal, Fulminator, Primeval, Will Leaf Leech, Splinter Twin. Uh, what else do we have over on this side? We have Spell Skite. That was insane. Uh, Surgical is okay. It's a, it's a couple bucks. Noble Hierarch, which is like 50-ish. Uh, I think that's it as far as, like, really insane pools and things go. I mean, like, even still, like, I'm probably forgetting something, but, like, this is A-OK. -okay. Like, these pools are A-OK -okay for a box like this. And especially, like, if you're drafting it, you even get more fun out of, like, playing something like this. I have Ugin as well. That card's cool. Um, yeah, so, like, I already know I'm missing, like, one or two rares that we pulled that are just really sweet. But either way, like, this box is just insane. Like, I love sets like this, and it actually makes it so fun to open up uh, really cool things that are just even reprints like even reprints like these are amazing so thank you guys for watching uh, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did I I'm, I always get to be excited for cool stuff like this and uh, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more various card game content